I'm gonna be turning this bacon here into this candied bacon. And it only takes three ingredients. Let's go. Now, of course, if we're gonna be making this, we're gonna have to get a good fire going. So, I'm gonna split up this wood here, and then we'll start a big fire. So, let's go. Alright guys, so the reason that I'm using this little mini hatchet here is the same as before. I still don't have my axe and I keep forgetting to ask Dawson, so while well, I think of it, I might as well give up a call here while I'm making the video. Just so I'll think of it, so I'm gonna call him here and ask him if next time he comes over he can bring the axe and machete. Hopefully he answers, because sometimes he doesn't. Hello? Uh, Dawson? Yeah? Um, next time you come over, can you bring the axe and machete? Yeah. I think it's still at your house. Yeah, they're still at my house. Well, I think of it, I thought I would ask it because I've been wanting to ask you for so long and I keep forgetting. Okay, so that's all you need from here. Oh, yeah, just the. Oh, what do you call it? Yeah, just the axe and machete. Machete, axe, and your hat. And my okay. hat. Sounds good. All okay, right. see ya. Bye. Bye. There we go, we got a little call from him. He, I don't know when he's gonna be over next, but hopefully sometime soon, so. prepare the bacon. Now this is the part that I'm enjoying doing because I really like doing this stuff. Alright guys, so to make this, we got our bacon here, a little bit of chili powder, some brown sugar, and uh, some maple syrup. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna cut open this little, this package with this knife uh, here. Now we'll go a nice slit across the whole top with this really, really dull knife. There we go. Put right, the, uh, right there, and then we'll stick it in the garbage after we're done. Not gonna litter, guys. Take out our bacon. These are some nice strips of bacon here. Now, I'm not gonna cook this in full pieces because the pan isn't big enough. So we'll take the knife here, and we'll chop the bacon up in, right in half. Right like that, and just into two pieces. Take out one more piece. Actually, that's two. I'm gonna pull that apart. We're gonna take this. And we're gonna trim off the thick side because I want to. I'm gonna cook that. Now this is where the part where it actually becomes the candied bacon. This is what you ingredients now you put on. So first up, we're gonna take our chili powder. I don't, I'm gonna try and just tap it on this way. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Guess we'll see. All right, I guess I'll do that. I'm gonna. So you just want to stick a little, just enough to like a light coat on the top of each piece. Mix that in a little bit. Now with that completed, stick the lid back on this. We're going to take our brown sugar and we're going to put quite a bit of this on. We're going to put a fairly decent layer on this. Give that a good pack in, so it doesn't all fall off when you flip it. Now we're gonna take our maple syrup, put one line across the, each piece. Now we'll try and mix this, rub this on, all onto this. Now we're gonna, we're gonna flip the bacon And you basically just repeat for this side too. So now we're gonna stick it onto the, we're gonna get it into the frying pan and onto the fire, so. 
All right, guys, so it's now time to stick the bacon under the fire. Fire's a little big, but it'll make it so the bacon sears a little bit better. So one piece at a time, we'll just lower that in. All right, guys, so we'll time lapse cooking this, and then we'll try it at the end when it's all cooked, so. Cheers. Alright guys, so the bacon is done. This stuff looks incredible. Alright guys, so it's time to eat this. I am super excited to have this. I've made it before, but it's my first time ever making it on the fire. Gosh, this is better than than anything that I've ever ate. I'm gonna have to get Dawson out here sometime and make this with him. I'm sure he'll really enjoy this. I'd like to give a little bit of a shout out. I'm not sure exactly how you say his name, but I think it's like Nick DiGiovanni or Nick Giovanni or DiGiovanni or something like that. He's the one who gave me the idea for this recipe. But man, is it ever good. So th shout out to you. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed these videos, please hit a like and subscribe. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching, and we're out. Sheesh.